Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, Microsoft rolled out the latest Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 10, KB5028166. And I did post on this update, and I'll leave that video down below, but just to let you know, once again, that we have an update issue. And according to uh, various reports doing the rounds now online, between Reddit and some of the other social media sites, that there are now various issues after installing this new update, 5028166, that are affecting both home users and also enterprises and corporations. Now, first of all, just focusing on the problems that would um, affect mainly home users. Apparently, um, according to reports, there are system slowdowns and lag that is being caused. And if you are gaming on Windows 10, um, there are reports of a drop in frame rates. So basically, you've got a system slowdown with lag and mainly those drop in frame rates for gamers if you are playing games. And there are also network issues that include um, problems connecting to the internet and also uh, Bluetooth drivers that are missing after installing this latest update. So that's just a couple of the main issues affecting home users who have installed KB5028166. Now, um, there is an enterprise issue, and I'm just going to mention it because it is um, doing the rounds, and just to keep you guys updated and in the loop if you are affected by this issue. Apparently, um, for some enterprises who are running uh, the Synology directory server. Apparently, um, there is a loss of connection with um, their network attached storage, which is NAS for short. And basically, Synology have uh, given an update saying, and I'm quoting, Microsoft released some updates for Windows 10 and 11 this month that destroyed the ability for our fully patched Windows 10 22H2 clients to establish a secure channel with the domain controller running on our Synology. Now, what Synology has done, if you are affected, is they have actually rolled out a patch to fix the issue. And here is the patch, and I'll leave a link to this website down below if you want to apply this fix, if you are affected, and are obviously tied in with Synology, and you can come check this out for yourself. It's got the fix here, and it says here, Windows computers are joined to the domain created by Synology directory server and Windows computers have the following July 2023 Windows updates installed and KB5028166 is part of that as mentioned. So that's um, the Synology directory server and Windows 10's latest updates. But the main complaints are for mainly from home users where you're getting a bit of a slowdown in performance and Obviously, if you are gaming, that would cause a drop in your frame rates. But nonetheless, just letting you know about this KB5028166, unfortunately, once again. And at this stage, Microsoft hasn't officially um, confirmed these issues. But we are expecting a bug fix update to possibly start rolling out um, next week for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So hopefully, Microsoft will include a fix to address the issues with KB5028166 that rolled out last week for Patch Tuesday. And um, if the update is causing more issues than it's actually trying to resolve, although it's not um, suggested and recommended, you can uninstall the update. And I say why it's not recommended is because this is an important security update. But if obviously your, your, your issues are outweighing, the negatives are outweighing the positives, then you can always head over to uninstall updates and then you can uninstall the relevant update. But just make sure, though, that you pause the update because if you don't, it will just try to reinstall itself because it is an automatic compulsory update. So just keeping you in the loop. And obviously, if Microsoft, anything is heard from Microsoft side or this becomes an official known issue, I will post and let you guys know accordingly. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.